Well, that winter weather that Joe was forecasting for this weekend and on into Monday, well, it brings concerns with it about power outages and heat interruptions. They could happen all over the area. KTBS 3's Alexis Thrower joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Alexa, what's going on? Yes, I spoke with Clico to get updates so residents can best prepare for the inclement weather. Now, Clico and Swepco advise that if you are using a portable generator to ensure that it's well ventilated outside. If you have a space heater, make sure the plug isn't frayed or torn as it can start a fire. Even after residents take precautions, there are still factors that power companies face to restore power. Clico communications strategist Fran Phoenix shared those details. We're still in the middle of winter and this storm is a reminder that you, we still have to take the proper precautions. Um, the issue with um, ice and snow for power companies is that they can uh, make the tree limbs heavy. And if the tree limbs fall, they usually fall on a power line. And that's what causes a power outage during the winter season. If you are a Clico customer, you can report and track outages via text. You just have to sign up for that on their website. Additional Clico and Swepco crew members and contractors are already on standby for whatever the weather conditions bring. Carl. All right, good to know that they are at the ready. Well, that forecast by the weekend is looking more and more wintry, and that means concerns about power outages and heat interruptions area wide. Our Alexis Thrower joins us now with more about that. Alexis. Yes, I spoke with Swepco to get updates so residents can best prepare for the inclement weather. Swepco says that should an extended outage occur, you should have a few things on hand. A charged cell phone is the first item. This is to report outages and get updates from power companies. If you don't already have one, purchase a portable phone charger. Clico and Swepco advise that if you are using a portable generator to ensure it's in a well-ventilated area outside. Swepco also says you should have these items on hand blankets, flashlights, extra batteries, water, um, definitely medications and that, you know, from children to our adult uh, customers, we definitely want to have medication on hand. Um, and for those that require a medical need that requires electricity, we do, we do really encourage you to have a backup plan in place. Wissing says backup plans are vital because the winter weather could stay around a few days after the storm initially hits. This means that there could be extended delays for power to be restored. Jerry. Yeah, it looks like this cold's going to hang around for a while. Alexis, mm -hmm. thanks a lot. The winter weather forecasted for this weekend brings with it concerns about power outages and heat interruptions area wide. KTBS 3's Alex Th Alexis Thrower joins us from the newsroom with more. Alexis? Yes, I spoke with Entergy to get updates so residents can best prepare for the inclement weather if they are to lose heat. They say in the event of an outage, be sure to keep warm as best as possible. This includes bundling up with extra layers of clothing, even if that means you're indoors doing so. Make sure your windows and doors are closed and sealed. This is to keep the cold air out. If the power and heat go out, make sure you have your family's immediate needs. This includes non-perishable food and water in addition to medication. Here's another tip to generate some heat if the sun comes out. If it's sunny outside, um, another good tool to do or another good step to take is to open your blinds and windows to allow direct sunlight to heat the room as well. And that's using the natural heating effect of the sun. Entergy says they have employees on standby in the event if power outages occur. Clico and Swepco also advise that if you are using a portable generator to keep warm, make sure it's in a well-ventilated area outside. If you have a space heater, make sure the plug isn't frayed or torn, as that can also start a fire. Linnea.